Hi, my name is Tom. I'm with the Auraria Library. I'm working from home today, as you can see, as I'm sure many of you are uh, working and studying from home. Because the library is closed and because you can't come in and get research help or ask us questions, I'm going to make a series of uh, tutorials, brief tutorials, on how to use select Auraria Library business databases. Today we're going to take a look at Business Source Premier and how to use it to find company information. At the end of the tutorial, I will show you uh, my contact information if you have additional questions. And I'll also show you how to reach out to uh, myself and my colleagues remotely through the library uh, website if you need to get additional information. As you can see, our production qualities here aren't particularly wonderful. Um, this is not Lucas Films. But um, I'm going to do my best. Uh, I'm relatively new to this kind of thing, so please be patient with me as we go forward. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the library homepage. That is library.auraria.edu. And then we'll scroll down the page to the database list, which you'll see here on the left-hand side. Click on that and this will give you the opportunity to access all 300 of our databases, most of which are article databases, though some give you other kinds of information. To find a database that you want, that is to say if you know the name of the database, you just simply type the name in here into the search bar and then click on the search button. On the following page, the link will come up to Business Source Premier. Click on that link. and then you'll go into the database. Now, if you're off campus, it will probably prompt you to log in. If you are a CU Denver or a uh, Metropolitan University, I'm sorry, Metropolitan State University of Denver student, uh, you will log in using whatever your university uh, username and password are, that is to say for your university email. If you are a student at Community College of Denver, you will sign in uh, using your name and student ID number. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you now that we're in the database is to do something kind of counterintuitive, to ignore these three search bars. The reason why is because they won't be much use to us given what we're trying to do today, which is to look for company information. For that, we're going to go up here to the Company Profiles tab on the top of the page, click on that. Then on the following page, we can pick out a company alphabetically by going to the alpha list or by typing in its name in the search bar and then clicking on the browse button. We're going to use Sony today as an example. Uh, after we've done our search, you'll find, regardless of what company you're searching for, that there may be a variety of companies that have a name similar to the one that you've entered. In this case, there are two, Sony Corporation and uh, Sony Financial Holdings. Okay. Now, at this point, we need to ask ourselves, what of these or which of these companies is best going to serve our needs. For what we're doing today, it's going to be Sony Corporation. And you'll see here um, on this page that Sony is generally a, a technology company. It's located in Japan. And lastly, we have the market line report for the company. That's where you are going to find the most information available in this database on the company itself. So if we click on the market line report, You'll see on the following page, the actual report itself, which is about 61 pages long. And I've scrolled down here to the table of contents to give you an idea of all the information that's available here. Company overview, key facts, business description, history, key employees, key employee biographies, major products and services, SWOT analysis, top competitors, company view and locations and subsidiaries. And of course, the various page numbers at which you can find all of these different categories of information. I've also made a tutorial on how to use Business Source Premier to find SWOT analyses and uh, NAICS industry codes. You may want to take a look at that tutorial as well if you want additional information on those topics. Because I don't want to take up any more of your time, I just want to briefly point out, now that I've showed you how to search the database for this kind of information, that you can reach out to me if you have any additional questions. 
this is my um, this is my uh, contact information. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Also, if you'll give me a moment to go back to the Urary Library homepage. Again, that's at library.auraria.edu. If you scroll down the page, on the left-hand side, you'll see the Ask Us button. If you click on that button, you'll be able to chat with us, text us, email us, and get in touch with us in a variety of other ways. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope that you and yours are doing well. Thank you.